its name can make you think of a platypus, but in reality, it's connected to the elephant. The only species of Platybalodon genus is known by the scientific name Platybalodon danovia. It relates to both the shape and function of the trunks and tusks, and means flat spear tusks. They were warm-blooded extinct animal. The Amabalodon family, including the Platybalodon, the family member. Which also include Amabalodon, Archaeobalodon, and Protanagus are all extinct. The family belong to the Proboscidean order, which also include contemporary elephant. At the time and even now, these are still some of the biggest land mammals. Compare. To the most current elephant, Platybalodon was a little bit smaller in size. They weigh between two and three town and be up to ten feet long. Asian elephant, by contrast, are about twenty feet long and can weigh up to four town. The largest elephant are African bull elephant, which may grow up to twenty feet long and weigh seven town. They are currently the biggest land mammals on the planet. Their tusks, which are used for digging, make this ancient proboscidean unique. Like other proboscideans of the past and present, they had trunk just below their trunks were the upper tusks. Their lowest tusks were two or three feet long. They used it to spear and shuffle food because it was connected and had the function on the spot. Tusks are actually teeth, and Platybalodon has serrated teeth to help cut difficult plants. They may have used them as a shuffle to scoop up the plant. They could have removed bark from the trees with their large lower tusks. These ancient elephants were herbivores that only ate vegetation. They probably drink aquatic plants from the swamp where they live for their meal. They probably also ate tree plants and bark with the help of their tusks. Platybalodon would have been able to shake or strike a tree to get its food, as they ate lattice to pulverize the plant. Their tusks were presumably more harmful for defense than for eating. To break leaf into the smaller beads for food, the platybalodon had sharp teeth at the front of its lower jaw, separate from its tusks. The Miocene epoch was when the platybalodon lived, according to the fossil find. The Neogene period encompasses this period of the prehistoric history and lasts from 23 to 5.3 million years ago. This happened a long time after the dinosaur disappeared, 66 million years ago, as a result of the asteroid impact. Platybalodon inhabited modern-day Africans, Asia, and the Black Sea region. Despite the fact that there are many types of elephant alive today, these are also the area where the modern elephant reside. This is proof that a single species of platybalodon existed throughout this vast area. The Miocene epoch saw the evolution of numerous mammals. Including carnivores, the saber-toothed tiger and its ancestor emerged as a major predator, perhaps dominating. Despite the platybalodon size in comparison to the other species, carnivorous predator could still harm it. Ancient animals were constantly at risk of harm and disease. If the platybalodon had fought for food or mass, their tusks would have hurt each other. 
given that they render the animal weaker and make them easier prey for the hungry carnivores. This would might easily prove fatal. The number of offspring a platypalidon mature female had at one time is unknown to science, but because they were mammals, these creatures were aware that they gave birth to live young. The platypalidon young were the most vulnerable. In order to protect the young, modern elephants live in the herbs. It is probable that the platypalidon ancestor also showed the behavior. In 1927, Russian paleontologist Boris Sack published the first science description of Platybelodon. He based his report on specimens discovered in the eastern Europe region of the North Caucasus, which is located among the Black Sea and the Caspian Sea, and include Russia. The 1930s saw the publication of studies by Henry Fairfield Osborne and Walter Granger on the platypalidons, many life stage and developments, which later became a popular exhibit at American Museum of the Natural History in New York City. However, these are no genuine fossil initial. Based on several specimens found in the 1930s, it illustrates that experts believe this animal would have looked like. The proboscidae order only have living example of elephant today. During the Miocene and ever since the Platypalodon and other genera in the order became extinct. This precise cause of the extinction of this species is unknown to the scientists. Like with most species, the most likely explanation is the struggle for resources like food make it difficult for them to live to the current days. Any more depend on plants for food would have been also affected by changing vegetation over the Miocene epoch. 